Welcome to the course, Microservice Configuration with Spring Boot. This is the third in a series of courses. This is level three of Microservices with Spring Boot. Uh, we have covered level one, which is service discovery, and level two, which is fault tolerance and resilience. This is level three, which is configuration. All these levels are available on this channel, so definitely feel free to check it out if you haven't already. This level covers how you can configure your microservices and uh, what are the things that you can do to make sure your microservices can be easily configurable, easily manageable, and we'll also look at some of the industry best practice solutions that we have for configuring with Spring Boot. We'll also be looking at some of the features of Spring Boot that allows for this kind of configuration, how we can leverage those features specifically in the context of building microservices with Spring Boot. All right, so here's the agenda for the course. We will start by understanding the goals for microservice configuration. We'll understand what is the ideal target state for a configurable set of microservices. And then we look at some of the configuration features in Spring Boot. There's a bunch of them. We look at the value annotation, config props, how Actuator can help us. We look at Spring Profiles, the environment object, a whole lot. And then we're gonna to switch to Spring Cloud Config Server, which is a Spring Cloud project, which lets you externalize your configuration and manage it in real time. And then we're gonna be looking at dynamic configuration, how you can have configuration update in real time so that you don't have to restart the servers, you don't have to deploy new stuff to production in order to update configs. And then we'll wrap up by looking at some best practices and patterns and how you should be using all the tools that I'm gonna to provide to you during this course and how to effectively use them. Here are the prerequisites. There's not a lot. Uh, you should be familiar with Java and Spring Boot. I guess that goes without saying because we're gonna be primarily using Spring Boot and its features uh, to build configurable microservices here. And uh, I also recommend you have some understanding of microservices. You should know what microservices are, how they work together, and what are the some of, what are some of the problems that you will face when you're building microservices. Kind of understanding those problems will provide more insight into why we do some of the things we do with configuration in this course. Like I mentioned before, this is level three of a series of courses. We already covered level one, which is communication and service discovery. Level two, which is fault tolerance and resilience. All these levels are available on this channel, so definitely check this out. I highly recommend that you watch the previous two levels before tackling level three, but then it's not required. This particular level is a little bit different in the sense that even though we're gonna be tackling configuration in the context of microservices, we're not gonna be creating multiple services and having them talk to each other just to understand what configuration is. All we need is one Spring Boot service we're gonna take that and make that configurable, okay? It doesn't need for us to set up all these different services just to make sure we understand what configuration is and we learn what configuration is. So in that sense, you can kind of start with level three and tackle the other stuff later. It's up to you. But with this, let's get started with microservice configuration. In the next video, let's talk about what is microservice configuration, why is it a big deal? Why should we even bother about it? So see you in the next tutorial.